Hey everyone and Happy New Year. Today we're going to be comparing hosted desktop infrastructure and virtual desktop infrastructure. But first, this video is to supplement a blog post at the Tech Journal, my personal technology blog at stevenwagner.com. If you haven't already been, make sure you check it out. I've got tons of cool content on there. And please make sure to like, to the, like this video and subscribe to the channel. In the ever-changing world of IT and end-user computing, new technologies and solutions are constantly being developed to decrease costs, improve functionality, and help businesses' bottom line. In this pursuit, as far as end-user computing goes, two technologies have emerged, hosted desktop infrastructure and virtual desktop infrastructure. In this video, I hope to explain the differences and compare the technologies. We're at a point where due to the low cost of back-end server computing, performance, and storage, it doesn't make sense to waste end-user hardware and resources. By deploying thin clients, zero clients, and software clients, we can reduce the cost per user for workstation or desktop computers and consolidate these on the back-end side of things. By moving EUC, end-user computing, to the data center or server room, we can reduce power requirements, reduce hardware and licensing costs, and take advantage of some pretty cool technologies thanks to the use of virtualization and or storage. These include snapshots, fancy provisioning, backup and disaster recovery, and others. And it doesn't stop there. By utilizing these technologies, we minimize the resources required spent on managing, monitoring, and supporting end-user computing. For businesses, this is a significant redu reduction in costs as well as downtime. So what is hosted desktop infrastructure and virtual desktop infrastructure? Many IT professionals still don't understand the difference between HDI, hosted desktop infrastructure, and VDI, virtual desktop infrastructure. But it's as simple as this. Hosted desktop infrastructure runs natively on bare metal, whether it's a server or system on chip, and is controlled and provided by a provisioning server or connection broker, whereas virtual desktop infrastructure virtualizes the desktops in a virtual environment, just like you're accustomed to with server virtual machines, and is controlled and provided via hypervisors running on the physical hardware. As mentioned, Hosted desktop infrastructure hosts the end-user computing session on the bare metal hardware in your data centers. A connection broker handles the connections from the thin clients, zero clients, or software clients to the bare metal, allowing end-users to see the video display and interact with the workstation instance with their keyboard and mouse and other peripherals. The pros to hosted desktop infrastructure include remote access capabilities, reduction in end-user computing hardware, simplifies IT management and support, reduces downtime, adds redundancy, it runs on bare metal hardware, resources are dedicated and not shared, the user has full access to the hardware the instance run, runs on, this means CPU, memory, GPU is dedicated to that specific user. You easily, or you can easily provide accelerated graphics to an EUC instance without additional costs, and there's a reduction in licensing as virtualization products do not need to be used with HDI. The cons to HDI include limited instance count to possible instances on the hardware that's running it. Scaling out requires immediate purchase of hardware. Some virtualization features are not available since this solution does not utilize virtualization. Additional backup strategy may need to be implemented separate from your virtualized infrastructure. With, virtualized, with virtual desktop infrastructure, VDI virtualizes the end user computing operating system instances exactly how your how you virtualize your server infrastructure in vmware environments vmware horizon view can provision manage and maintain end user computing environments virtual machines to dynamically assign distribute manage and broker sessions for users the software provides or sorry the software product handles the connection and interaction between the virtualized workstation instances the vms and the thin client zero client or software client the pros to vdi include remote access capability reduction in euc and cost savings simplifies it management and support you can reduce downtime you add redundancy it all desktop vms run as a virtual machine shared resources so you don't have to waste hardware or resources on end users as end users share the resources vdi is easy to scale out you can over commit and over provision your backup strategy is consistent with your existing virtualized infrastructure and you get capabilities such as vmware drs vmotion vmware ha and so forth
Cons to VDI include resources are not dedicated and shared. However, this could be considered a pro. Users share the server resources. Extra licensing may be required. And extra licensing may also be required for virtual accelerated graphics, such as NVIDIA Grid. Both technologies are great and have their own use cases depending on your business requirements. Make sure you research and weigh each of the options if you're considering either of these technologies. Both are amazing and will complement and enhance your IT strategy. Thanks for tuning in today and please make sure you like and subscribe to this video. And if you haven't, check out the blog. Again, the URL is www.stephenwagner.com. Again, have a great day and Happy New Year.